Namaste, I'm Archana. A warm welcome to you. Today's practice is for all of us who are short on time, but still want to practice yoga so that it can help us uh, feel energized, remain calm, handle stress better, as well as be present in everything that we do. So let's begin by coming into a comfortable seated position, placing the back of our palms onto our knees, and closing your eyes. Now keep your back straight, chin parallel to the earth, the crown of the head pointing in the direction of the ceiling. Breathing in through your nose and breathing out through the nose. Next time we breathe in, just notice our belly come forward and as we breathe out, Pull the navel back towards the spine. Once more, breathing in. Belly comes forward. Breathe out. Navel back towards the spine. Now take your right hand and place it below your navel. Left hand onto your chest. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, feel your belly push into your palm. Again, breathe in, and this time as we breathe out, we're gonna chant one round of Om and feel the vibrations of Om below our palms. Om. Take the hand behind your back. With your left, hold your right wrist. Lean forward, bring the forehead to the earth. Slowly come up. Hands come in front of your eyes and now gently open your eyes with a few blinks. We'll begin by drawing small circles with our nose in the area. One clockwise, I went anti clockwise. One, two, just trying to warm up the neck, four, you can keep your eyes closed or keep a soft gaze, and five. Now this time when we go anti-clockwise, use your chin to draw the circles in the air. So automatically your neck moves slightly behind, Two more, just remembering to breathe in and out, and one. Now bring both your hands onto your mat. Breathing in, bring your fingers up towards the ceiling. Look at your fingers, and as you breathe out, turn and twist to the right. Placing the left hand onto your knee, right hand just behind your buttock, looking towards the right side of the room. Stay here. You're going to stay here for two breaths, breathing in, lengthen your spine, push your seat into the mat, and exhale. Once more, breath in and out. Let your left hand stay on your knee. Bring your right hand all the way towards the left side of the room. Feel a nice stretch in the right side of your side body, all through your waist, your rib cage. Staying here, breathe in and out. Come back, come back to center. And once again, breathe in, reach your hands up, look at your fingertips, breathe out, twist to the left side, bring your right hand onto your left knee, left hand behind your left buttock. Turn and look towards the left side of the room. Take a deep breath in, lengthen your spine. As you breathe out, see that your seat is pressed against the mat. Once more, breathing in and breathe out. Now, bring the left hand all the way to point towards the uh, right side of the room. Stay here, keep your face relaxed. 
breathing in and out your gaze can be forward we're just trying to warm the spine up and come back now breathe in bring both your hands up to your shoulder level and breathe out turn your palms towards the back here uh, in my case it's towards the wall behind me here breathe in push your palms like you're trying to bring them closer together opening the shoulders your gaze is forward breathe out pull your navel in round your upper back drop your chin to your chest bringing your palms close together like you're trying to press the air out of a ball again breathe in here big stretch reach the hand out all the way up breathe out navel in chin, drop your chin to your chest palms come closer breathing out one last time breathe in big breath and exhale drop your hands down bring your palms below your shoulders knees below your hip now press your toes lift the knees up come to parvatasana at this point uh, if you can you drop your heels down if not it's totally fine just stay here now from parvatasana you slowly go to walk forward bring your feet together hands onto the mat breathing in slowly roll up open the chest forward hands come now we're going to be doing two rounds of surya namaskaras and this surya namaskaras are going to be a practice in itself so i'll show you how to do that press your feet into the earth hands come in front of your thigh breathing in raise your hands up arms come in line with your shoulders now press your feet into the earth press your fingertips towards the ceiling keep breathing in and breathing out now as we breathe in we're going to keep our knees straight not locked but keep just keeping it straight this is a soft bend in our knees push our pelvis forward keeping your arms and ears in line a backward bend and as we breathe out still keeping your arms and ears in line we're going to push your seat behind trying to bring our keeping our back as straight as we can and drop down hands come come either onto the mat or anywhere on your feet below your knees behind and as we breathe out bringing the belly close to our uh, thighs here you can also keep a nice deep bend in in, in our knees stay here pada hastasana breathing in and breathing out from here i'm going to take my right leg step it as far behind as you as i can and then stack my left knee over my left ankle drop the right knee onto the mat feel a nice stretch in the front of my thigh on the right side ashwa sanchalasana breathing in and breathing out you can stay here for a couple of breaths and exhale palms come onto the mat I'll show you two ways of going into chaturanga dandasana bring the left knee to join your right knee palms below your shoulders press your toes onto the mat lift the knees up and push the heel in the direction of the mat you gaze between your palms chaturanga dandasana stay here this is excellent for strengthening all the muscles in our body two and one here we're going to open our knees wide bring our big toes to touch push our seat behind towards the heel reach your hands forward drop the forehead onto the mat we're going into child's pose extended child pose shashankasana uttita balasana there are multiple names for this breathe in as you breathe out completely collapse into the mat 
walk your palms back bring both your knees together here from here engage the toes we're going to go to ashtanga namaskara where eight uh, parts of our body are onto the mat your toes your knees palms slightly away from your shoulder bring your chest close to the earth chin onto the mat from here go all the way up breathe in bhujangasana here you have two options palms come below your shoulder just come up until your lower ribs are off the mat elbows close to your body feet together bhujangasana this is baby cobra and if you go slightly higher always remembering to keep the distance between your shoulder and your ear gaze forward this is bhujangasana engage your toes lift your knees off the mat bring your heels on to the mat arms and ears in line parvatasana again knees wide sit back and stretch in shashankasana breathing in and breathing out come up bring your right leg and step between your palms if your left knee is directly below your hip what you can do is engage the toes push the knee back we are in ashwasan jalasana equestrian pose stay here breathe in chest forward gaze forward press into the earth lift the leg back step forward pada hastasana arms come in line with your ears you can keep your knees soft breathe in all the way up reach up if you want you can just stay straight here or nice back bend and bring your hands to namaskar so this not not only helps in strengthening our muscles but also helps in increasing flexibility also energizes our whole body we going to repeat the same thing on the other side breathing in break your hands up press the palms into the earth press your fingertip up towards the ceiling your pelvis moves forward your gaze towards the ceiling don't drop your head behind here you may hurt your neck breathe out you can bend your knees or keep it straight 90 degrees then bend drop down pada hastasana breathe in take really long deep breaths from here we're going to step our left leg as far behind as we can then stack the right knee over the right ankle drop the left knee ashwasanchalasana breathing in and breathing out press the palm into the earth this time i'm going to show you how you can go to chaturanga directly here stay here for a couple of breaths and two knees open and like your toes come a bit toes come to touch shashankasana stay comfortable breaths here ashtanga bhujangasana yeah you can adjust yourself come to bhujangasana breathe in press the toes onto the mat breathe out come to parvatasana Again, open your knees wide, big toes to touch. Now, step your left leg between your palms. Adjust the back knee, the right knee, Ashwasan Jalasana. We can breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth or your nose here. Engage the toes. Come back to Pada Hastasana. Breathe in, reach up, straight, or a nice 
bend your back and namaskara mudra from here we're going to go to sitting on the mat now we're going to practice navkasana so bend your knees as much as you can it can stay as close or um, your heels can be away that's totally fine now just place your palms onto your knees and just lean back so that your elbows straighten out your gaze is forward stay here and you if you touch your belly you'll automatically notice that the muscles in your abdomen are already contracting stay here breathe in and out if this is all uh, that you're comfortable with please stay here if not now slowly lift your right leg up and your left you can continue either holding behind your knee or here and if you feel comfortable then stretch your hands forward stay in navkasana here breathing in and out you can stay here for 3 2 Stay with me. You're going to feel a little tremble in your abdomen. And one. Drop your hands down. Your feet down. And come down to lying on your back. Straighten the left leg. Bend the right knee. You can hold around the knee. Or behind your uh, thigh. bring the chin in the direction of your knee gaze forward breathe in and out release straighten the right leg bend the left knee take a deep breath in and as you breathe out bring your chin in the direction of your knee and out breathe out come down bend both your knees hug your knees just rock side to side straighten both your legs place the heels as wide as the mat arms come to rest next to your thighs bring all your attention towards your abdominal region and just notice as you breathe in and out your belly move up and down you will stay here in shavasana for a couple of breaths now bring both your uh, feet together bring both your hands next close to your thighs we're going to take one deep breath in and as we breathe out we're going to chant one round of om and just notice the vibrations of om wash all through our body breathe in om whenever you're ready take the right hand and place it on the floor behind you bend the left knee slowly turn over to the right side and come up to sitting come to a comfortable seated position we're going to be practicing uh, anulom vilom and nadi shuddhi pranayama in the left hand we're going to adopt chin mudra or gnana mudra and with your right hand we are going to do nasika mudra where your thumb is open and the index and middle finger is closed we are going to use our thumb to close our right nostril and the ring uh, finger to close our left nostril so we are going to be closing and opening first close your right nostril with your thumb breathe out completely through your left nostril breathe in through your left close the left nostril breathe out through your right breathe in through your right 
close the right nostril, breathe out through your left. This is one round. If you're going to do two more rounds, breathe out through your right. Breathe in through your right. And breathe out through your left. Notice if your chin is parallel, spine is straight. Breath in. Breathe out through your right. Breathe in through your right. And breathe out through your left. Eyes can continue staying closed. Just notice all the sensations that you're feeling in your body. Take a deep breath in through your nose and breathe out through your nose. Whenever you feel ready, you can slowly open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me in today's practice. I hope this video was helpful. For more content like this, like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, you can write to me in the comments below. Namaste.